you can see where some of the foyer demolition has happened and right behind us the very first toilet block is going in. That'll be with us in about six weeks we believe. Now, over here we're going to uh, put another nice lounge in here which will be for nursing mothers and just out to the side of it we're going to have a nice area where children, the little ease, can spill out and maybe have a bit of play equipment, a bit of grass out here. There'll also be room for a barbecue area right where I'm standing. Yep. Okay, we're getting a quick inside view of the carpentry work that's going in here with the ladies' restrooms and the men's restrooms beyond that. And above this there'll be new storage added. All of this is inside the envelope of the current auditorium. We're now looking out through a hole in the wall and uh, we're going to put a nice big glazed door in here where mothers will be able to hopefully open it on a nice day and We'll fence a small area off for the toddlers to run around out here. This is Lee Knight's old workshop and uh, it's been taken away from him, been turned into a bit of a site office for the next probably just a few months now and then this will be converted to a very nice lounge and nursery. Okay, we're looking down from our property to where the north portal of the Victoria Park Tunnel will come out. You see the work has been progressing very rapidly down there. The cars will come out north or from your right to left headed towards the bridge about where we're looking now and uh, it's going to certainly help the traffic flow in this part of the city. We're standing not quite on the edge of our property. We'll be able to have a great view from here when we have functions in our new multi-purpose rooms. Once again this is Ross uh, signing off from VCC here in beautiful Auckland. Been a fantastic summer, a great build season for our team here on site. We want you to keep uh, thinking of us down here in New Zealand if you're looking from overseas and, and we want to welcome you in advance to our grand opening which will be about 13 months away. We're hoping about March 2012 we'll have a fantastic month of events here, uh, have the community coming in, have some great conferences and uh, we're very much looking forward to it. Again we want to thank you for your interest, your prayers, keep praying for our team. We've had one or two of our, our wider team. Um, of construction people and consultants uh, have taken a few hits lately so we really want to treat them as though they are part of the church family and we take it very seriously when people are either sick or in trouble and sadly one of our consultants passed away very quickly over Christmas and so we just want to keep that uh, before you that we're praying for everything that's going on here on site this is much more than just a building project if you look around here you can see the scale of the project now and uh, it's costing many millions of dollars and it really is uh, truly a miracle that we can see some of this vision that was uh, started here many, many years ago by a lot of faithful people. It's going to come to pass and come to a place of completion where we can uh, celebrate what's happened here on site for these last 25 to 30 years.